This is The Morning Five. I'm your host, Michael Ware, President and CEO of the Center for Christianity and Public Life, giving you five minutes of news and scripture Mondays through Thursdays. Today is Wednesday, February 14th, 2024. Happy Valentine's Day. Let's open with scripture. Today I'll read from a a favorite psalm here on The Morning Five, Psalm 112. Praise the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord, who find great delight in his commands. Their children will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches are in their houses, and their righteousness endures forever. Even in darkness, light dawns for the upright, for those who are gracious and compassionate and righteous. Good will come to those who are generous and lend freely, who conduct their affairs with justice. Surely the righteous will never be shaken. They will be remembered forever. They will have no fear of bad news. Their hearts are steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Their hearts are secure. They will have no fear. In the end, they will look in triumph on their foes. They have freely scattered their gifts to the poor. Their righteousness endures forever. Their horn will be lifted high in honor. The wicked will see and be vexed. They will gnash their teeth and waste away. The longings of the wicked will come to nothing. May God bless the reading of his word. Well, friends, good morning. I'm your host, Michael Ware. So glad to be with you. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, Let's get right to the news. First, we have results from the special election in New York's 3rd Congressional District. Uh, The Democrat, Tom Suozzi, uh, won uh, by just under 10 points at the time of this recording. It's 54-46 with 93% of the vote in. Tom Suozzi, a, a former congressman, will now return to the House. Uh, It was uh, an election a lot of folks were watching, as we discussed yesterday. Uh, It flips a district. Uh, Congressman George Santos, former Congressman George Santos, used to represent this district. Now it will be uh, represented by Tom Suozzi. Uh, This means that the Republicans' margin uh, in the House is now even smaller, making Speaker Johnson's job all the more difficult. Next news item, uh, before the uh, Republicans margin in the House got tighter tonight, uh, Speaker Johnson brought back up the impeachment vote for Homeland uh, Secretary, uh, Homeland Security Secretary uh, Mayorkas, who, by a 214 to 213 vote, uh, uh, partisan vote, uh, the only uh, it, bipartisan opposition, but uh, uh, only Republicans voted to impeach Secretary Mayorkas, making him the first sitting cabinet secretary in U.S. history to be impeached. Uh, this uh, impeachment, uh, the, 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 the grounds of it were uh, a charge that Mayorkas was not enforcing uh, federal law regarding uh, the border and immigration policy. The impeachment articles uh, will be uh, delivered to the Senate uh, and uh, the Senate will, will now Go through a go through a, a process. Senators will be sworn in as jurors in the impeachment trial for Secretary Mayorkas. Finally, uh, the Senate did pass a Ukraine Israel aid bill, and President Biden, as well as Senator. Uh, uh, Mitch McConnell are calling on the House to bring it up for a vote. 
There are a number of potential paths forward here. Uh, there could be a discharge petition. Uh, if 218 members of the House uh, request a vote, then a vote will take place, but that process can be difficult. Uh, Speaker Johnson can also put forward an alternative plan. Uh, and as we discussed yesterday, it's possible he tries to uh, bring up a border security immigration policy uh, of, of his own to attach to this bill. But we'll see how this unfolds. There is significant pressure for, uh, given the circumstances on the ground in Ukraine, for uh, the U.S. to move forward with this package. And so we'll see. Uh, we'll see if this week brings additional action here or if we uh, will enter into uh, another week of deliberation around, uh, around this, this aid package. All right, that's your news for today. Let's close with prayer. Dear Father, always near us, may your name be treasured and loved. May your rule be completed in us. May your will be done here on earth in just the way it is done in heaven. Give us today the things we need today and forgive us our sins and impositions on you as we are forgiving all who in any way offend us. Please don't put us through trials, but deliver us from everything bad, because you are the one in charge and you have all the power, and the glory too is all yours forever, which is just the way we want it. All right, thank you for joining me today. As always, the Morning Five is brought to you in partnership with the That Sounds Fun Network, supported by the Center for Christianity and Public Life. 